Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to make any 3D object moving with realistic shadows in After Effects very easy and quick. Let's begin with tracking camera, click on track camera and once analyzing is done, select some points on the ground. Now right click and select, create solid and camera. Make sure to toggle off track solid and then let's jump to 3D models website where you can download them for free or paid. I will search for a plane for example. Click on licenses and select free. Now let's scroll and choose one that you will enjoy. That one seems cool to me. Scroll down and click on download 3D model. I will download GLB with a 4K textures for a better quality. Once it's downloaded, go to your downloads folder and drag and drop that file to AE timeline. Make sure to click on make comp size and then hit OK. So now we have the 3D model in our video and it's tracked already. All we have to do now is to animate it as smooth as possible. Let's scroll to the very beginning and press P on your keyboard. Click on position stopwatch icon. Now for example I want this jet to fly by above my car, so let's move it far away from camera something like this. Now scroll to the very end of the layer. Now move this jet's position near to the camera like this to create a flyby animation. Let's check it. That's already cool, a few more adjustments to make its movement more realistic. Right click on your first position keyframe and select keyframe interpolation. Change spatial interpolation from linear to continuous bezier and hit OK. Now we will need two screens here to control jet's movement better. Click here on one view and select two views. Now click here and select top. This will make our camera to look from the above. Let's make second screen a bit smaller so we can see this little line here. Now simply move this line to create a smooth and oval path something like this. Your 3D model will follow the path you will create and that's way better than the linear one. Once you are happy with it, change your view back to one view. Scroll to the very beginning now and open 3D model settings. Under transform click on orientation stopwatch icon. Then scroll near to the end and let's rotate the jet and create a realistic flying animation. That looks awesome. Move that keyframe to the very end of your layer now. Now let's create a shadow of this jet. Select 3D model, track solid and 3D camera layer and pre-compose them into one layer. Name it to original and make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected then hit OK. Now duplicate that layer and rename it to shadow. Add fill effect on shadow layer. Change color to black. Right click on shadow, go to transform and click on flip vertical. A few more adjustments to our shadow layer and we are done. Bring down the opacity until it looks realistic. Now add Gaussian blur and add blurriness until you are satisfied with it. That looks cool to me. Now let's add motion blur on the jet layer to add some motion. Select original layer and add RSMB plugin on it. If you don't have RSMB, you can use CC force motion blur. And I have a great news. Once AM film hits 10,000 subscribes, I will give away RSMB Pro so, stay tuned and hit the like button.